Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to... Hit one! It's anyone's ball! Ndiaye, Badu Ndiaye plays it forward. Yang plays it out to the wing. Oh, good interception. Anything, Jim, to pick out of these early exchanges? Well, neither side has really grabbed the initiative, I would say. Both must have come in with a view of, of not making any early mistakes. So we're seeing some conservatism here. Idrissa Gay. Hoists it forward. Oh, they've seen lots of the ball. Time to go for it a bit. A bit of creativity and adventure. Traore. It's a busy front line. Uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well... Not really, to be honest, I, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. Now it's Keita, defenders on the back foot. Idrissa Gay. Senegal still without an attempt on target. And it's Triori. Can he deliver? A really good feat from him. Goes for goal! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. Made sure that that won't get through. Now, surely, the referee's awarded a free kick. Referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Traore. He hits it! Good effort, and it is right on half-time. So the other team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. 
And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Senegal can be very glad that half-time came when it did. Poor possession and very little firepower means they need a serious pickup in this second half. No guts, no glory. Hit into the middle. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. And here's Keita. Still absolutely nothing to report here, goals-wise. And it's Gay. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Well, he's obviously been identified as a menace, and they're dealing with him accordingly. I think we can expect more of the same. Idrissa Gay. Idrissa Gay making use of the space out wide. Tries to pick, has a hit! It's a goal! Listen, I've experienced that both for and against, and you won't have to guess which one I prefer. Senegal produced a lovely sequence of passes there. It's a terrific brand of football to watch, and importantly, it is a strong end product. <laughs> Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. The perfect display, and the old saying comes to mind, when the going gets tough, etc. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed. But will they? Loses his balance and loses the ball. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Senegal are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end too. Keeper sends it forward. Senegal still ahead by the game's only goal. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. Senegal need to hold on for a few more moments. Tries to locate someone up front. That is it, the referee has seen enough. Senegal, hold on. It's a narrow 